How early can you wake up to go catch a train? I woke up at 3 a.m. to go catch my train. Hello and welcome to Katsu Travels. I talk about interesting trips that families can do in an affordable budget. Today, we're going to Sri Lanka and we're going to sample some interesting experiences. Hello, good morning. It's 3.30 in the morning and uh, I am at uh, the Jaffna station. Thankfully, we got an auto and we were able to, um, you know, get get our way to the Jaffna railway station. We're only about two kilometers away at Northern Residence, but uh, now that we're here, we're waiting to waiting for our train. Uh, but I discovered a few interesting things in Jaffna station, apart from the fact that it's very neatly maintained, very clean and there are no beggars, anybody who is like you know sleeping on the pavements as we see back home in India. They are. And there is a library, a library in a railway station. That's pretty rare, isn't it? Let me show you around. travel bloggers so seeing people from my community coming on uh, the television is really inspiring so that way I think uh, uh, it's a great job done by the railway department in Sri Lanka so loving the journey so far it's very comfortable in the first class and uh, yeah just optimal for sleeping especially when you have to board the train at 4 in the morning train arrived an hour late into Colombo Fort. As soon as we got down from Colombo, we had a couple of options. We could either go check into a hotel, keep our luggage and go around the city but lose time 
or we could go find a cloak room keep the most heaviest items there and then go explore the city we probably get another half an hour 45 minutes more so we decided to do the latter the colombo fort station is beautiful to look at it has victorian architecture and was built in 1864 it took us some time to actually go find the cloak room but once we did we were pretty happy that they were able to take our luggage but they said that we'd have to come back by 7 pm because they'd have to leave the shift so it's not strictly 24 hours so we took a couple of boxes each box of different sizes and uh, we were able to keep our luggage so you can ask them for different sizes if you have a very big bag for example this bag that i had did not fit into box number 86 so i took another box the cloakroom charges between 50 and 100 lankan rupees for each bag that you have that you are keeping in the safe custody now with luggage sorted it was time to go explore colombo YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and of course my own blog www.kachutravels.com